Hello everyone, Danny here from the Pardo's Business YouTube channel. This is my first video of the academic year for 2016. And it's an important one because we're going to be talking about the differences between pass, merit and distinction on our BTEC Level 3 courses. So let's get straight into it, shall we? If you're a pass grade student, what you'll be doing is you'll be defining, you'll be describing, as it says down here, you'll be looking at examples and you'll be saying how businesses kind of use the theory that you've looked at in the classroom. And you'll be stopping around about there because that's the equivalent of a grade E at A level. If you want to go a bit further, which you probably do, you're going to be looking at these analysis words, okay? And this will be most of the merit tasks you will be doing will require you to use these words. So you're going to be looking at things like this could cause this, this will lead to this, therefore this will happen. However, on the other hand, looking at both sides as well, which a lot of people think is often an evalu evaluative task can also often be a merit and analytical task as well. So think about your taking steps. Well, this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens. That's what you're gonna be doing for a lot of your merit work on the BTEC Level 3 program. So let's say you're not happy with being a past student, you're not happy with being a merit student, you wanna be a distinction student, so how do you do that? Well, you're gonna use these words here. You're going to be looking at evaluation. You're going to be looking at making decisions. But you can't do that unless you're going to use some of these terms here. Advantages, disadvantages. You might hear them called costs and benefits. Um, benefits and drawbacks. You'll hear them called all kinds of things. Good side, bad side. That's what you're going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at the short-term, long-term uh, effects of a situation. You're going to be looking at the major impact and the minor impact. You're going to be thinking about well, what does it depend on? What else is happening outside of the business's control that will affect what's going on maybe within the business's control? And if you're going to win an argument and if you're going to be a distinction student, you've got to back it up. You've got to use proof. You've got to go facts and figures and statistics and news articles because every argument you've ever had, you will win it if you can prove your point. And that's the same for your distinction work that you'll be doing on the Level 3 program. doesn't matter if you're writing it, speaking it, presenting it. If you can back up your argument, you will be hopefully a distinction quality student. So what we're going to look at just very briefly, we're going to have a slide here that comes up that tells you everything about the pass, merit and distinction words. Decide where you want to be. How far do you want to go on the BTEC Level 3 program? Well, use these words to get you thinking and get you working to that level that you want to be at. I hope this video has been very useful for you. Watch it again. Watch it every time you do a piece of work because it will help you out. Thank you.